Hey guys, it's the Modern Minecraft, and today I'm going to teach you how to install and then use the reply mod. So basically the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to the mindofminecraft.com slash reply mod, and that's the site where you have the download and all the links. So the first thing you're going to need is, well, Java 8. So if you have never played Minecraft before, um, you're going to need to download Java. But if you play Minecraft, you probably have, well, you, of course, if you play Minecraft, you have Java already downloaded. But yeah, there's a link there. So there you go if you need Java. And But what you're also going to need, and you might not have, is Minecraft Forge. So Minecraft Forge is what is going to be needed for the mods. So the only version of the mod right now is it's a 1.8.9 version, but in the future I might expand for like a 1.9 or 1.10 version. So in that case, you might want to click on 1.9 or 1.10 and the steps for how to download it should be the same, but I'm just going to do 1.8.9. So what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to go down to installer and just click on this link and it's going to go to an ad fully link or whatever. Skip add. And it's going to download the Forge installer down in the corner there. So once this is done downloading, you just want to press keep. And then you're going to want to load this up. Um. Yeah. Okay. So then this window will open. And you're going to want to, it's already defaulted to install client. You just press okay. It should already find your Minecraft path. If it, if it doesn't find your Minecraft path already, what you're going to want to do is um, go to your Minecraft launcher. So if this isn't already there, you're going to go to your Minecraft launcher. You're going to go to edit profile and it'll tell you your game directory. And then you can just literally copy control C or whatever and you can paste it there. But it already knows that so that's pretty good. So then you press OK and it's going to install it. And this is actually what will bring you to the next step. So the one thing though is if you haven't played like for example if you're downloading forge 1.8.9 you have to have played 1.8.9 at least once on your um uh minecraft or it won't be able to download it but so now you're gonna go here and you're gonna edit profile okay so you're gonna want to go here and it might say like release 1.8.9 or something right but you're gonna want to go and you're going to navigate to release 1.8.9 forge it should say something like this just choose, you know, like just choose this release 1.8.9 dash forge dot 1.8.9 dash blah, blah, blah. And that's going to be good. So now you're going to want to go check this box again and then control copy it once again. Right. And then you're going to want to go to here, um, your file explorer. So if you have a tab here, you're going to want to go copy and paste it right in there. And so basically what's going to happen is it's going to when the first time you run forge it's going to automatically generate a mods folder so you're going to want to go back to the website and you're going to download automatic reply mod um it should be the first version that's going to be released is 1. uh 1.10 but whatever version is there is going to be the most current version so you're just going to click download right pretty simple stuff and it's going to download right down here you're going to want to keep it so now you're going to want to go here, just close that or whatever. It's like some ad. Uh, but then you just literally want to go take this and drag it into your mods folder and you'll be good to go. I'm just going to delete this because I already have the current version in my mods folder. And I'm going to meet you back again in the game aspect of the tutorial of how to use it in game. Okay, so we're back and I'm actually starting in my server menu because I'm going to simulate what happens if you have an out of date version. So basically, if you log into Hypixel, right, because this mod is designed for Hypixel. So, uh, yeah, it's loading, but uh, blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to say this. Auto reply mod is out of date, and you're definitely going to be able to see it because there's going to be a ton of messages happening here. So you can literally just click here and then go through the same steps earlier to download the mod and put it in your mods folder. So, okay, now what you're going to want to do for how to use this mod. So it's actually not that complicated, and I'm just going to turn my game sounds down here. So slash reply mod, right? And it's going to tell you the uses. Slash reply mod, add your command name, your message, delete the command name, and list. So if you do slash reply mod list, it's going to list all these sort of things. So there's like AFK. So these are a bunch of ones that I've made to test it out. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, you can see those are a bunch of my commands and it kind of makes it all neat. It's This is like the auto tip format that 2Pi set up. Um, but uh, yeah, so now what you can do is, let's say you want to add a command. So you do slash reply mod space add. Now let's call it um testing. Um, so now we can do, I am testing creating a command. Um, so yeah. That's cool. So now if I turn this on, all you have to do is slash reply mod in the command name and these will save to a file so that you can use them in between. Like if you log out, they're still going to be there. Like if you close your Minecraft and you log back in to Minecraft, they're all going to still be there. It'll save basically. So now I'm going to have a friend message me so I can show you how it works. Okay, so you see my friend just messaged me, he said, you noob, and it says, I am testing creating a command. So you see, it works pretty well. Um, if they're spam messaging you, uh, because Hypixel only allows you to message every half a second, um, basically it might like not send if you're like repeatedly sending it basically but otherwise so like let's say one person messages you and another person like instantly messages you afterwards but like there's nothing you can really do but like that usually should be fine otherwise so it's not that big of a deal but um okay so now if you go to reply mod list also you'll see the testing command is there but now what you can do is let's say I don't want that testing command there anymore. It's bothering me. I just don't need it. It's clogging up my list. It's it's just kind of annoying me. So you can do slash reply mod delete testing and then it will delete it. And if I do slash reply mod list again, you can see it's not there anymore. So this is really just a very simple mod, very useful, very helpful. A lot of uses I have like for a you can see I have ones for AFKing. Um if piss off which is just if I don't want to be bothered at all I've won for recording so you can make them for a lot of different scenarios and this is a mod that I've just really wanted for a long time so that's going to conclude this tutorial if you want to contact me if you go to my website themindminecraft.com under my links I have some ways to contact me such as twitter the hypixel forms so if you have any questions about this feel free to contact me there or in the comments of this video and my name is Amanda Minecraft and I'm signing off so thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy using the mod